Goodbye, hello, wine-drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. Always happy to see our good friends from Han Winery. And uh, these guys, I mean, making some of the best values in California windum. Starting with this Chardonnay, St. Lucia Highlands 2014, a cooler climate Chardonnay, but still says a lot of ripe tropical fruit, 30% new French oak. You get that nice vanilla bean creme brulee note, the lemon drop candy. And uh, like I said, a very rich and creamy style of Chardonnay on your tongue. That lovely light toasty oak spice and a nice touch of minerality there for 18 bucks. Wow, a great value. As is the Santa Lucha Highlands Pinot at 21.50. Wow, this is 100% Pinot Noir too, folks. That's right. We have to say that in California today at this price point. A lot of dark cherry berry fruits. This is a four vineyard blend that the Hans own. A nice floral quality. Some smoky notes coming out as this wine opens up. A good amount of that dark cherry berry fruit. Silky smooth tannins. A nice touch of spice. And a little smoky character coming out as this wine opens. An excellent value, man. I'll tell you what. One of the best Pinots in the store from California in that price range every year. The Han GSM up next. This is your classic Grenache Shiraz Movedra blend. Good amount of that mixed berry pie fruit showing on the nose, both dark and light with sweet tobacco spice, pretty floral notes, hints of black pepper, uh, really nice perfume quality as this wine opens up to the bouquet, smooth and silky on the tongue, a lot of that rich mixed berry pie fruit, uh, dark spice and black pepper through the finish, excellent juice at $14.75, wow, man, if you like Cote de Rhone's and Southern Rhone's, that is an incredible value, as is the Han Cabernet, the same price of, brand of a blend of Lodi and Paso Robles fruit, a little bit of a green peppery note to the loamy, earthy characters. 80% uh, Cab, 18 Merlot, and two Malbec. A lot of rich, ripe, current berry fruit on the tongue, though, and that nice hint of tobacco spice and the green pepper at the end. Very balanced style, a crowd pleaser, and has some character as well. Very good. Smith & Hook Cabernet from the Central Coast. This has got a little bit of Merlot and Malbec in the blend as well. A hearty bouquet with notes of sweet tobacco spice, dark currants, cherry berry fruit, really rich and layered, dark chocolate notes, a big and fruity wine on the tongue with sweet tannins, very round and seductive, that tobacco spice and mocha lasting through the finish. An excellent little wine if you like that style at $20.25. And then the Bone Shakers Infidel, the only wine in the world with a glow-in-the-dark label. And it's Zinfandel. All right. Need I say more? If you like Zinfandel, man, this wine's got a lot of that sweet strawberry Jolly Rancher candy fruit, pretty floral notes. And there's some Merlot and Cabernet in the blend. Hey, the best Zinfandels are blends. This wine is good if you like that sweeter style for $18. But let me tell you, what a great lineup of wines from Han Winery again. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.